Stage Pass. It is a Tuesday, July 26th. Hard to believe it's uh, this is it for July. We say goodbye to it for 2022 and welcome in August uh, coming up next week as we're presented by our friends over at Bangtail Whiskey, MitchMax.com, and Hank Jr. Productions. Of course, our countdown to kickoff for Viter Park football is coming up uh, August the 26th at the Silsby Tigers. Yours truly, Robbie Lane, and of course, our friend Kevin Bercato on the call. And I tell you what, always great to be inside the Backstage Pass, uh, one of two shows today. Uh, pleased to welcome in a, a good friend of the show and, of course, a guy. He's uh, got the good beer drinking going on out there, too, with him. As Landon Parker uh, joins us here on the Backstage Pass. Uh, Landon, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. You know what? Yesterday was my birthday, so I got a new pair of boots. Um, I got a travel suitcase <laughs> because, first of all, my band, they they made fun of me because I had a duffel bag and it has wheels on it. And I was like, <laughs> dude, it was like a one-off. So, I, you know, I pack smart. And so they were like, dude, you got to you got to pack better than this. So, you know, what I got for my birthday is some some suitcases. <laughs> so, so you, need, yeah. you need some more. I'd buy you dinner if I was there in Nashville, too. To be honest with you, I've been out to several of those yeah. restaurants as we did uh, CRS this year. Martin's Barbecue, I always say, is, is one of my favorites up there, too. Hey, let, let's let's talk about your ride, man, because ever since this song, <laughs> Mention the Top, uh, Good Beer Drinking has come out. You guys have uh, put that out. and You really haven't looked back including the latest uh, three-song uh, EP out there, Up For Anything. Tell me about your ride, man, this ride of country music, uh, your love for it, passion, and, of course, uh, take me from, the, I guess, the hometown to all the way to Nashville. Yeah. Um, so I grew up in a little town called Yakinville, North Carolina, and uh, I basically grew up hunting, fishing, listening to country music, so I've always just had a love and passion for it. I'd sing in the car with my parents and – um, I didn't really know that I could sing. I'd sing karaoke in like seventh and eighth grade. And then uh, uh, my dad actually went to Tennessee one time for a trip and he came back with a guitar. He didn't know if I'd pick it up or not, but he, he had just learned a few chords and he's like, let me teach you some chords. So I learned just a closer walk with D and it was a very simple, easy picking pattern. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm going to put some covers on YouTube and see what people think about it. And mm -hmm. uh, put some covers up and people were just like, dude, we love you. Um, put out some more music. <laughs> so I continued that process. And um, I actually got a call from Tim McGraw's manager when I was 18. And he was like, hey, man, I saw you on YouTube. And do you want to move out to Nashville and join this band? And I was like, first of all, I thought it was I, I was literally just in shock that it was Tim McGraw's manager even calling me. <laughs> Um, and I was like, yeah, um, let me think about it. Cause I hadn't had, I hadn't saved up any money or anything like that. So, um, but also I'm just like, yeah, look, look, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the move to Nashville. So I, I moved out to Nashville and what was it 2013 and mm -hmm. uh, did the band thing for five years. Um, it was a, it was a really fun ride. I think in the band, I, I really learned a lot about myself and what I wanted to be. And um, I actually, when the band ended, I thought about moving back to North Carolina because I was like, yeah, I don't know what's here for me anymore. And um, Blake Chansey, the producer for Dixie Chicks and Montgomery Gentry and um, a bunch of other people, they basically heard that I was going to move back home. Mm -hmm. and he's like, don't go anywhere. Um, I want to have a meeting with you. We want to sign you to a publishing deal. We want to like develop you as a solo artist. So I wound up staying here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. um yeah man we've just i've been writing and working on new music ever since great feeling to kind of start somewhere just to see it grow into something that's a passion of yours something you enjoy just to keep, see it kind of come uh full circle and just some of those moments yeah. you never expect to be in just it's by god's will it translates into something you you enjoy doing speaking of that single you guys i mean it's been on fire ever since it it came out for you guys the uh, good beer drinking uh, this year, just tell me, tell me about this one. Let's let's get the backstory, and then we'll have you perform it for us today, uh, for the listeners and viewers that haven't heard it. But uh, where did this one kind of originate from? And then we'll do the performance. Um, this song originated basically when I was starting as a solo artist. I was like, I don't have a beer drinking song, so I told my <laughs> friend, and I was like, man, we just need a good beer drinking song. And then it hit me. I was like, good beer drinking. However, I just said it. That's what we're gonna throw in the song. Um, my producer, he was like, dude, you gotta, you gotta play in open D. Like he just taught me a, a different way mm -hmm. to play on the guitar. Um, so I just started messing around, had no idea what I was playing. I, I was like, that, that sounds good. <laughs> um, so just 
put it together, wrote it with my buddy Cody Gregg, and it, it mm-hmm. was pretty, it pretty much wrote itself, actually. I mean, yeah. we were just like, think of every drinking term we can think of, throw it in the chorus, and uh, <laughs> party stuff, party stuff in the verses. And I'm sure every time you guys do the live performances, it's one of those you got to have in in the set list, and definitely gets the crowd kind of fired up too, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, every time it's always good. <laughs> Beer drinking. <laughs> yeah. They haven't heard that song. Make sure you guys check it out across all the digital platforms. I tell you what, if you got that guitar handy, I want to pass it off to you. Let's perform uh, perform that song, that very song, so people yeah. can can hear it here on the uh, backstage pass again, uh, presented by our friends at Hank Junior Productions, our friends at MitchMax.com, and of course Bangtail uh, Whiskey. And as I always, say every artist has to have a great beer drinking song and a good whiskey song. So this is your uh, <laughs> beer drinking type of song that he had to add uh, to his arsenal too, as well. Uh, Landon, it's all yours, brother. So you got to give me one second. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. So you know that open D tuning I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not in that tuning right now. Um, you got it. Me You're good, brother. You're good. Appreciate you being here. <clears throat> so where are you originally from? I'm right here in Texas, my friend. It's Beaumont, Texas, which is about an hour west of Houston down here. So it's okay. right here in the coast, right on the coast, uh, Houston, Texas, Galveston, and right here in Beaumont, Texas. So. Gotcha. Uh, I got two people. I got two people yeah. yeah, I got two people in Texas from a, in my band. One's from Vernon, Texas, and the other okay. one's from Houston, Texas, which he says Crosby. If you know where that yeah, is, yeah, exactly where Crosby. Yeah. No, no doubt. Yeah, we cover high school football here in the Texas market, and we've gone over there to do a number of games for the uh, Crosby Cougars. In fact, I want to say in the last two or three, four years, they've been uh, one of the top teams of the state, or at least pretty close to it, advancing uh, far and far to the playoffs. So one of the best. Uh, Coach teams in this area, no doubt, is the Crosby Cougars. So I have to ask, are you a Cowboys fan? Uh, for me, look at this hat, brother. It's it's all uh, Arizona Cardinals for me. Uh, um, the, the wife is a Cowboy fan. I watch it and tolerate it on a Sunday, um, especially if the Cardinals are playing. That's number one in my household. But I will say I wish them the best of luck. Uh, I was a fan back in the 90s. Aikman, Emmett, Irvin, Novacek, those guys. Yeah. But after, after a guy um, – like I said, I was never the biggest um, Jerry Jones fan after Jimmy Johnson, who's a local product down here, too, in Beaumont. Port Arthur, after he vacated his coaching vacancy, I stopped being a Cowboy fan after about uh, three, four years. That was it. Gotcha. <laughs> well, I was born into it. I, I had no other choice. My dad's like, you better be a Cowboys fan. You better be a Cowboys fan. <laughs> well, my, hey, my wife still is. Yeah. Today, like I said, I'll watch it in the household, but we actually travel out to Arizona to catch the uh, Cardinals this year. We're going to see them take on the Eagles October 9th out there in, in Glendale. So it's going to be fun to, to do. I always told her, I said, when the Cardinals play the Cowboys, whether it be AT&T Stadium, Arlington, or Arizona, we will we'll go. So be yeah. prepared for that the next few years. <laughs> well, I think I'm all tuned up now. So Let's do it, brother. It's all yours. Yeah. Here's some good beer drinking. <clears throat> Getting an early start. It's Friday, pretty not too crazy. Ain't much going on. Just some good beer drinking. With every single seat, four and a half percent of carbonation, fermentation, and a couple of good old friends. Doing some good beer drinking. You can call it tipsy, turn, intoxicated, and wasted. Five o'clock till you drop, catch a buzz, get drunk. Happy hour, singing loud, lop a leg, get on the dance floor. Get away to South Stand the house. You call it three sheets to the wind. We just call it good beer drinking. To the riverside, we put them all on ice. Yeti and cold Koozie slow, setting the mood just right for some good beer drinking. You can call it tipsy, tired, intoxicated, and wasted. Five o'clock till you drop, catch a buzz, getting drunk. Happy hour, singing loud, laughing, get on the dance. 
is cooking away two sounds in the house. Calling three sheets to the wind. We just call it cup of drinking. Pop the top and drink it. We call it good beer drinking. Pop the top and drink it. You can call it tipsy, tired, intoxicated, and wasted. Five o'clock till you drop, catch a bus getting drunk. Happy hour singing loud, lock like it on the dance floor. Getting way too soused in the house. You call it. Three sheets to the wind, we just call it good beer, good beer, good beer drinking. I love it. Good beer drinking here on the backstage pass is Landon Parker here. I get presented by uh, Bangtail Whiskey, our friends at MitchMax.com. And of course, Hank Jr. Uh, production, man. Love the song and uh, definitely one of those. It's a uh, good old honky tonk swinging song. If you like uh, 90s country music, it reminds me a lot of uh, the 90s era, no doubt, from my friend. We'll take a, a quick break here on the backstage pass. More with Landon here. Of course, rapid fire coming up. And we're going to talk about Caught Me at a Good Time and, of course, Up for Anything, which is the three song. Uh, record out there right now you guys can go uh, get across all the uh, digital platforms in fact it came out june the 24th so make sure you guys uh, go check that out it is the backstage pass live on the youtube channel and of course we're going to talk some sports uh, being cowboys get landon's prediction on this 22 season coming up to as well again live on the sports guys uh, podcast.com more to come here quick time out it's landon parker brandon morell it's the backstage pass hang tight the bang tail pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base the front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp it has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle, and the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. Go behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the Backstage Pass, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. Join Brandon Morrill and his co-host Kirsty Krause as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune into the Backstage Pass Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. And welcome in to the Backstage Pass... And here again with Landon Parker, it is the Backstage Pass, so presented by our good friends over at Bangtail Whiskey, of course, MitchMax.com and Hank Jr. Productions. Back here, uh, don't forget, coming up at uh, 2.30 today, our good friend J.D. Shelburne is going to drop by, and that's it for the week. We're going to take a little break and come back August 1st next week with Nashville recording artist Priscilla Block on the show coming up to start off the month of August. Here with Landon Parker on the show, and I tell you what, i got to ask you about this one because... We spent a lot of good time on good beer drinking, a fantastic song for you guys. It's, like I said, a number of charts, a lot of great success out there. Tell me a little bit about uh, Caught Me at a Good Time and kind of how that got uh, the idea, kind of that stretch and that great uh, feel behind it because you guys went from one successful song to another. Yeah. Um, I had this guitar part that I started playing, and I, I thought it was like a beachy type vibe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's where the, the fun – you know, dee -dee 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 -dee, of that part. Um, it, it, I thought I was going to write a beach song to it. And I actually started writing a beach song 
but I bought, I brought it to my producer and writer, Josh Hogue. And I was like, I just don't know what to do with this. And I saw this title on my phone called, called me at a good time. And I love the double meaning of it, of like, when you're talking to someone and you're like, Oh, you called me at a good time and actually catching someone having a good time. So we went, we went about it going like a fun breakup up tempo song. Um, that's people can dance to and sing along and get their hands up. Um, yeah. So that's basically the origin of the song. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's a good song out there too. So if you want to check it out, call me the good time from Landon Parker across all the uh, platforms. Let's dive a little bit into this up for anything. Uh, three song kind of a uh, short record you guys have out there. Uh, the title track itself is fantastic. I thought the, the album cover pretty, pretty much explained what we'd all like to do, uh, when it came for up for anything. Uh, the, yeah, <laughs> looks like the ocean's out there. Uh, you've got your loved one or someone close to you really close by. You've got the little, uh, tiki's kind of set up little villas, I should say. And you guys are just yeah. out there having a good time. Where, where did the idea come for this project? So in the chorus, when it says, usually I'm stuck in my ways, I really am. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a homebody and my wife is, she, she just, she loves to go out and do and travel. She has, you know, she has the travel bug. Um, and I love traveling too, but it's mm -hmm. just getting me out of the house. And so when it goes to doing anything, like whether it's as simple as going to the movies, my wife, she, she's like, come on, let's go to the movies. I'm like, ah, I'll just, I think I'm just going to stay. And then she, <laughs> she convinces me to like get out and go do things. Um, you know, and then she actually, she'll come up with really fun stuff for us to do that I would never do just me looking up something on Google whether it's you know scuba diving or i don't know even just going bowling like i just don't think about doing a lot of that kind of stuff mm -hmm. just uh, getting out a lot of house and, yeah play music yeah. and uh -huh. that's, music is basically my life yeah yeah um, uh, and i like to hunt and fish when i get the chance <laughs> Uh, nothing wrong with that. Like I said, in whatever yeah. particular order he, he likes to do. But <laughs> I love the, the title of the song, how fresh it is and how, how free it's kind of like you said, up for anything. Or if you want to learn a new hobby, well, we got some time on our hands now. Now's the time to take on some new stuff or like you said, go bowling or, or get out of the house or just do what you love to do and play, play great music, which you guys are doing. Uh, you know, with half the year gone now and man, it's just, it's, it's time is just crazy. Uh, anything in particular you guys are excited about kind of the next phase of the Landon Parker music full-length album ep selection of singles what, what's coming next yeah so we're working on a fall tour and we're also in the studio working on a bunch of new music we have i want to say six songs mastered ready to go i'm still recording more music as we speak um i think our next single is going to be godsend um okay. i'm actually going to start promoting it this week let people actually get to hear it if you've been out to a show of mine you've heard it or if you see me at a writer's round i've played it um but I'm super stoked about it because it's um, it, I, my wife was standing in the kitchen and I was just thinking to myself, God, she's she's a godsend. Like she's mm -hmm. superwoman. She you know, she takes care of our baby and um, she's just she's amazing. So um, I wrote it with two buddies in, in my band and they were also engaged at the time. They were getting married. So we were all like, mm -hmm. we're all in love and we're all getting married. So <laughs> let's, let's write a song about our women. So we just combined. Like yeah. Um, Great title, no doubt, too. And speaking of uh, <laughs> little ones, how, how old's your, your baby? My baby just turned six months old. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, little girl, little boy? Little girl, yeah. Little girl. Her, her, name is, her name is Lainey. I had to keep the LP. So <laughs> <laughs> I like that Lane Parker. I love it. That's a cut. That's a future. Just make predictions on the show all the time. Future country music singer. It's too, too early yeah. to tell now, but what a, what well, a name. To she, she squills maybe higher than Mariah <laughs> Carey. I don't know. Pretty high. Um, I like that. That's cool. I have to hear that sometime too. Lainey Parker. I love yeah. the name. Congratulations. I just became a dad for the first time. Uh, she's not sure. Sure. Yeah, I did during the COVID, uh, uh, COVID side of things. Uh, go, go. <laughs> Chloe's her name, little girl, and she'll be two and a half in October. So time just it, it flies by well, before you can ever realize what just <laughs> turn on the light switch. And it's like they went from six months to two and a half. I went, where did time go? Yeah. Oh, God. But uh, yeah, she's the. Life of the party and get to spend a few days with her before daddy goes back to work next week for the, the day job. And of course, everything else, you know, takes care of itself, but it's cool. Cause she's yeah. into everything. It's the terrible twos. It's all the water slides. It's sprinklers. It's all kind of stuff, you know, messing up the house and spilling cups. And, and uh, well, so I'm, I'm at the, they said the perfect age right now <laughs> to enjoy I'm gonna it. To call you. I'm going to have to call you for advice. Uh, <laughs> I haven't made it there yet. 
the invaded there. Well, that first, I'm gonna tell you this: God sin for my wife too, because that first six to nine months, my friend, yeah, I like to pull what little hair I left out. Yeah, it was that was a mom's time to do it. It did. She didn't yeah. really become a daddy's girl till I'd probably say about one year old when they were able to do stuff and walk yeah. and things like that. And now it's these, get ready for this, my friend, especially little girls, Disney animated movies. Oh my goodness. You're going to watch uh, Disney I plus you just that. subscription now because when they yeah. do like all the, the Moanas and the Encantos and all this, the Incredibles and everything they have on that Disney, she's hooked with it now. That's all she wants to do. Cause she's like a, a parrot. She just goes watch and her, her eyes will go left and right. Watch daddy. Um, Moana. I'm like, okay. Right, whatever. <laughs> It's, it's all good there too. So there's, there's a buddy. <laughs> yeah. There's a buddy. Like, I got a buddy of mine when I was when I was writing with him. Uh, mm-hmm. His little girl came in the room and she's like, "Daddy, will you play me a song?" And he started playing "Let It Go." Like learned it on guitar, and he was playing some other stuff from Frozen. And I was like, "That's gonna be me. <laughs> I only have to learn the Frozen soundtrack." Um, it's, That's it's pretty coming. cool. Well, I tell you what, I want to get out of here. I know you got to run. We definitely look forward to having you back on to spend more time with us. I know you got a media day too as well. Appreciate you spending a little part of it with us here. I want to play, have you play one more for us here, if you don't mind, and we'll get you out of here on that too. Uh, come back and we'll close out the show. Can you play one more for us? Yeah. Um, do you care if I play you the new song? Got no, let's do it. Absolutely. And we'll get you out of here on that, no doubt. Um. <clears throat> well, and then when I was playing good beer, drinking my guitar, went out of tune. That's the first time I've ever had to play and try to tune at the same time. Uh, one second. Good.
you know you be better to run that way. I saw you walking with the old God's way. country music to the core my friend landon parker here this is the backstage pass presented by our friends over at bangtail whiskey mitchmax.com and hank jr productions and i know my friend oh, we're out of time but uh wow i'm just I'm hugely impressed by you as an artist you as a person uh up for anything is out there across all the digital platforms check him out on socials and guys uh, caught me at a good time and good beer drinking all the songs we talked about today landon we're definitely going to talk football next time you come on i know we we just got a short amount of time today thanks to sarah beth for setting everything up over at uh, Sweet Talk Publicity. They do a great job over there, the whole team. Uh, man, appreciate you coming on. Best of luck going forward. And, hey, come back anytime. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. You got it. Landon Parker here on the Backstage Pass. We're back at 2.30 with J.D. Shelburne here on the show. Until then, we'll see you guys at 2.30 today. Take care. <laughs>